This is just a shorter clip of a piece of content I covered in yesterday's video in my guide about sub-items and dependencies. I wanted to highlight this because if you're planning a large project, then if you follow Notion's documentation, you're going to run into an issue here. But check out the longer video if you'd like to get a more in-depth overview of how this feature works and some of the other changes that you should make to your databases to make the most of it. All right, so I'm just going to explain why you need to create four separate relation properties if you want to manage both sub items and dependencies in the same database rather than just two. So on this page, we've got two copies of basically the same task database. Uh, one has the two relation properties and one has four down here, which I'll show you in more detail in just a second. And if we take a look at the list of tasks, uh, we're just imagining that we're launching an app. So we need to design artwork for the uh, App Store, write copy, publish the app in the App Store, and then announce the launch, all nice and straightforward. If we switch over to the table with subtask view, then we can see we've got the parent task listed just here, and then our subtasks listed beautifully uh, beneath them inside that toggle. Um, and so obviously so far so good. But if we switch over to the timeline view, what I've done here is I've configured this uh, in the way that Notion's documentation recommends. So uh, for dependencies, I set the parent task as the dependency. Uh, and so we've now got this cascading view of these two tasks feeding into this task, which looks great initially. The problem is uh, this task announcing the launch is obviously dependent on publishing the app in the App Store as well. And so if we link these two tasks together now, then we see that nice line in this diagram. So that's nice and clear. But if we switch back to the table with subtask view, we now only have one parent task uh, that's showing here. And then we have to open that toggle. Then we see uh, publish in the App Store and then we see the subtasks that are linked to that task. So obviously, if you're working on a large project, as you add more and more tasks to your task database uh, and start linking them together using the new dependencies functionality, that view is going to be harder and harder to work with. You'll end up with potentially lots of tasks nested under a single parent task, and that can and that's a little bit tricky to manage because you have to expand each of these toggles one by one when you first start viewing this database view. So if we scroll down to the second task database here, we've got exactly the same content in this database. If we switch to our task with subtask view, we have the layout that we wanted here where we have our two main tasks showing there and then our subtasks set as sub items in this view there. But if we switch to the timeline view, then we can see we now have that cascading visualization of these two tasks feeding into this one and then this task enabling this task here. In order to set that up, we've had to add an additional uh, set of properties here. So enables and dependent on to set alongside parent tasks and subtasks. The enabling tasks here uh, match up with the parent tasks there, obviously, because we need to complete these subtasks uh, before the main parent task here can be completed. But we're also enabling announcing the launch by completing the publish in app store task here. So obviously working with this type of structure does take a little bit more time to figure out. And it does mean that when you create subtasks which enable a parent task, you not only need to link them to the parent task in the parent task property here, you would also need to link them to the parent task in the enables property. I think I might create an Apple shortcut that would allow you to do that easily, but that does give you a, a much better outcome in terms of you know managing this information and visualizing it. So hopefully that's worthwhile.